species concept. Definition of the species we have tried particularly. Species is the basic unit of classification which it is consisting of a similar characteristics sharing the common gene pool and producing the fertile offsprings. Definition we have tried and we have tried about the genre Historia plantarum and then uh, Carolus von Linnaeus Systema Naturae then Buffon Natural History Charles Darwin Natural Selection Theory about the four scientists we have read and four books we have read and genetic unit, reproductive unit, ecological unit all these things we have to explain we have to explain in the species concept and uh, for the species concept after the species concept if you are seeing the next four marks important in the first unit there is the reasons for the greater biodiversity in the tropic tropics the reasons for the greater biodiversity in the tropics we have to explain the three points mainly there is the evolutionary time long evolutionary time and constant climate nature specialization and then abundant availability of solar energy these points we have to cover in the reasons for the greater biodiversity in tropics and after that thing if you are writing about the river pupper phenomena river pupper phenomena has been proposed by the Paul Ehrlich he has been compared the ecosystem with the aeroplane in the ecosystem he had compared the parts of the aeroplane with the species then the important part of the aeroplane that is actually rivet which is joining between the uh, aeroplane wing and the aeroplane body rivet with the critical species. What is concept regarding the rivet pupper phenomena? It means whenever we are removing the rivet joint between the wing of aeroplane and aeroplane as it is it can't fly the same thing happens here whenever the critical species has been extincted from the ecosystem particularly what is happening? The balance equilibrium of the ecosystem will be disturbed this he, uh, he want to explain by that example then evil correlate in the evil correlate mainly uh, different uh, uh, phenomena we have to explain here in the evil correlate first we have to explain about the habitat loss uh, that is the uh, deforestation then pollution conversion of the forest land into agriculture land then fragmentation uh, these four points we are covering in the habitat loss then invention of alien species we have to write about the African catfish and all these things and population extinction we have to write about the uh, passenger pigeon then about the co-extinction we have to write and the co-extinction co how one is depending on the other that we have to write in the co-extinction about the plants and animals we have to write the co-extinction this is about the evil correlate phenomenon then uh, evil correlate river pupper we are saying then about the in situ and ex situ conservation already we discussed in the 8 marks answer Biodiversity conservation, if, it, if the in situ conservation has been given for the four marks, we have to explain about the national parks, biosphere reserves, sanctuaries and sacred groups, all these things. Uh, these are the important questions which we had particularly from the first unit here. And uh, the, if you are moving for the second unit, in the second unit the important questions mainly consisting of uh, areolar tissue, it is a loose connective tissue. Areolar tissue consisting of mainly we have to explain them about the five cells, the fibroblast cells. Which, which they are consisting of fibrocyte cells and then mast cells mast cells mainly consisting of what histamine, serotonin all these things we have to explain in the mast cells and phagocytic cells particularly macrophages we have to explain then plasma cells about the B cells and antibodies we have to explain and adipocytes in the adipocytes we have to explain about the fat cells about all these five cells we have to explain in the areolar tissue apart from the areolar tissue if you are seeing about the cartilages Introduction of the cartilage we have to write and about the pericardrium and then about uh, in the three types of the cartilages hyaline cartilage, elastic cartilage, fibrous cartilage three types we have to write and hyaline cartilage is the weakest cartilage of all which is consisting of a bluish yellow uh, things, yellow, yellow fragments here particularly fibrocyte cells and then hyaline cartilage which we had hyaline cartilage consisting of a pericondrium it is consisting of a chondrocytes and matrix and all these things here example of the hyaline cartilage mainly we can, say, we can take it as a nasal septum epiphyseal plates that examples we can take for the hyaline cartilage then elastic cartilage if you are taking elastic cartilage always consisting of what yellow elastic fibers then matrix pericondrium is present chondrocytes are present lacunae are present there in the elastic cartilage Elastic cartilage example always we can take as a ear pinna, we can take the example particularly. Then uh, lastly fibrous cartilage if you are taking, fibrous cartilage is the strongest cartilage of all and very important point of the fibrous cartilage is actually the, in the fibrous cartilage, pericondrium is absent. Pericondrium is the covering of the particular uh, this cartilage here, pericondrium always helps in the repair regeneration of the cartilage particularly. Then example of the fibrous cartilage we can take as a 
and particularly uh, epiphyseal uh, intervertebral disc we can take the example of the particular fibrous cartilage and then after the fibrous cartilage a haversian system we are saying in the haversian system or structure of compact bone both are same actually first we have to draw a diagram particularly and uh, after drawing the diagram we have to explain about uh, the things actually periosteinium endosteinium concentric lamellae circular lamellae haversian canal then oxman canal what is haversian system haversian system it mean haversian system or osteon it mean the haversian canal which is surrounded by the concentric lamellae and then circular lamellae that is known as what haversian system that if you are explaining the diagram the answer will be completed then structure of the multipolar neuron In the structure of the multipolar neuron we have to explain about the cell body dendrites uh, axon and uh, all these things we have to explain myelin sheath nodes of brandvir all these things we have to explain in the multipolar neuron and about the and different types of tissues sometimes they are asking for the eight marks also skeletal tissue skeletal tissue is a voluntary and striped then uh, smooth uh, uh, smooth muscles that means types of muscles we are saying particularly smooth muscles actually they are involuntary and unstriped here smooth muscles then uh, single nucleus is present in the smooth muscles uh, actin myosin particularly they are not we have seen particularly here then uh, skeletal muscles smooth muscles and cardiac muscles the cardiac muscles which we are actually they are involuntary and then striped we are saying cardiac muscles are the branched skeletal muscles we can take example intercalated discs all these things we have right and cardiac muscles always they are not undergoing the fatic because oxygen is supplied continuously we have right in this thing these are the important questions four marks questions we are taking in the particularly uh, second unit as celom symmetry we got in the eight marks particularly they are important and formation of the size of celom and uh, enterocelom is very important for the eight marks how it is formed how the how the epidermal pouches epidermal bags they are they particularly that we have to see here the second unit then if you are taking the third unit particularly invertebrate phyla the third unit actinozoans and anthozoans actinozoans and actinozoans and anthozoans are belongs to the nidaria phylum nidaria and uh, actually they are sessile they can't move they are fixed to one point here they are they are consisting of a polypoid stage they are consisting of a germ cells which are endodermal in origin and nidocyte cells are ectoderm and endodermal in origin example of that i'm saying we can take as a sea animal all these points we have to cover and then we have to we can write about the crustaceans crustacean example we can take particularly as a prawn crustaceans are always fresh water and they are their body is consisting of a cephalothorax that is a thorax and body is combined we are calling as cephalothorax 18 appendages are present 18 pairs of appendages are present always excretory organs are the green glands and the respiratory organs are the gills particularly here and then here the prawn which we had the prawn the body is divided into several thorax we are saying and uh, the sense organs which are stratocyst and compound eyes present example particularly we are saying and it is uh, oviparous prawn is always oviparous example we can take as a prawn or palm then if you take the next important answer in this third unit there is a differences between centipedes and millipedes or chilopoda or diplopoda chilopoda or diplopoda or centipedes and millipedes clearly indicates actually centipedes it means 100 leg and uh, then millipedes it means 1000 leg centipedes is always carnivorous it is uh detritivorous and then always what is happening this centipede is always consisting of a poison class here their poison class is absent particularly here particularly the centipedes body is divided into head and trunk there also body is divided into head and trunk trachea are the respiratory organs trachea are the respiratory organs marfia tubules are the excretory organs marfia tubules are the excretory organs common points are similar example we can take for the centipedes is actually scolopendra example we can take for the millipedes is actually julus then <coughs> In the third unit again we can uh, we can take the important uh, four marks answer that is actually echinoidea echinoidea belongs to particularly echinodermata phylum echinoidea particularly sea urchins heart urchins all these things we can take the example of the echinoidea echinoidea which we had angular um, in which angular ambulacral system is present and in the echinoidea very very important point that is actually aristotle's lantern is present aristotle's lantern is a five paired masticatory jaw and uh, example we can take as a sea urchin then holothuridians we can take example they are belongs to the class holothurian and uh, phylum echinodermata holothurians are actually they are sessile they are consisting of a respiratory trees the respiratory organs they are consisting of a closed uh, madreporite or closed ambulacral systems and then example we can take for the holo holothurians uh, actually holothurian example we can take of sea cucumbers we can take the examples here these are the important uh, questions particularly and the chilopoda diplopoda particularly we can take the example for the Uh, Calipora diplopoda we got here, and then about the uh, Polychaeta, Oligochaeta, Hirudinia. Three classes of the particular uh, uh, Feritima. Calipora Polychaeta example we can take the Neris, 
Oleokita example, we can take the particularly Erdogan or Fertima and uh, Erudiana example, we can take Erudian area, there is a leech example we can take and this all the points we have to explain. And remember the point here in the third unit completely. Whenever we are writing the class characteristics, uh, common characteristics we have to write respiratory organs, excretory organs, habitat and then if any extra characters, if they are then we have to write here particularly because uh, we had only 5 points but we will get the complete marks in the 4 marks answers, right? If we are taking the 4th unit particularly, in the 4th unit, uh, 4 hallmark characters of the coordinates, the 4 hallmark characters of the coordinates mainly consisting of a notochord, <coughs> nerve cord, pharyngeal gill slits and post anal tail, 4 things we have to explain, the notochord uh, is actually we have to explain about the notochord uh, in the mid dorsal line which it is there actually, long elongated line, this is the notochord we are saying, notochord further develops into what, further develops into vertebral column, then nerve cord which we are in the nerve cord, anterior part of the nerve cord develops into brain and posterior part develops into uh, spinal cord in the further developmental stages and pharyngeal gill slits it means they are for the respiration, the pharynx region as a gill slits are present we are calling as a pharyngeal gill slits, they are for the respiration, post anal tail it means at the end part of the particular recordators, the post, post anal tail is present. It is always for the balancing. By the diagram, we have to indicate and we have to write about the sun Then about the differences between the sea squids and lancelets, we have sea squids and lancelets. Sea squids are included in the eurocoritans, lancelets are, are included in the cephalocoritans, eurocoritans characters and cephalocoritans characters we have to write in between the sea squids and lancelets here. Then the differences between the cartilage fishes and bony fishes, particularly, very very important answer contactus and ostrichus here. Cartilage fishes, which we have named itself indicate, they are consisting of a cartilage. And the bony fishes, which we are particularly, they are consisting of your bones in their particular body structure. And the cartilage uh, fishes, particularly, they are consisting of heterocircle pin, fins. And bony fishes, they are consisting of homocircle fins, that is, the tail part is consisting of a fins. Heterocircles, heterocircle in the contactus, and the homocircle in the bony fishes. And the placard scales are present in the contactus. Genoid, cycloid, tenoid scales are present in the ostic this year. Then, always, what is happening here? This uh, uh, contactus, which we are, they are the urotelic and uh, Urotelic that means they excrete the urea. Then uh, this ostichthys they are the ammonotelic. And here particularly claspers are present in the conductus. Claspers are for the internal fertilization. Claspers are absent in what? Absent in the particular ostichthys. They they undergoes the external fertilization. And always conductus are the viviparous which can give us directly in once. And ostichthys which we are particularly they are the oviparous here. And example of the conductus if you are taking here. Squilodon, we can take the example for the ostrichthys, we can take as a rohu, labio, all these things here. Contactus and ostrichthys. And heart of frog is very important. Uh, if, you are being, if you are seeing about the heart of frog particularly, heart of frog consisting of three chambers, uh, two auricles, one ventricle, and we have to uh, draw a structure of the heart and we have to explain of the conus arteriosus and sinus venosus, we have to explain in them particularly. And uh, we, simple points are there in the heart of frog. And then, if you are seeing about the male reproduction of the frog, a pair of testes. Semiferous tubules, vasa efferentia, and cloaca, all these things we are we have to explain the male reproduction of the frog particularly. And these are the particular uh, important and then characteristics of the amphibians, all the characteristics of the amphibians we have read, and the flight adaptations of the birds particularly, that means how the bird is uh, modified, uh, their wings particularly to undergo the flight, that we have to write. And ratte birds, which are flightless birds, we have to write examples, Ruthio camelus we can take, and about the ratte birds also we can we have to write in the fourth unit particularly. And if you are going for the 6th unit, in the 6th unit, uh, long answer will be very important and short answer also. In the short answers, mainly we have the different types of parasites and parasitic adaptations we have. That means uh, the parasites to live in the host particularly, they are undergoing the different adaptations here. It uh, includes anti-enzymes, development of the anti-enzymes, you can see the tinea sodium. And then uh, particularly, uh, they are also consisting of what hook, sucker, rostellum, different structures they have been developed for the attachment to the host. We will see in the tinea sodium. Cuticle, in the ascaris, we can see particularly. Then uh, aerobic, anaerobic, uh, particularly parasites we are saying that uh, aerobic it means which can live in the presence of oxygen, anaerobic it means which can live in the presence of oxygen. Uh, facultative anaerobes we had, obligatory anaerobes we had, facultative anaerobes example we can take as ascaris and uh, obligatory anaerobes we can take the example as entamoeba. All these points we have to write in the particularly about the parasitic adaptations here. And then about the, in the fourth unit I, we have to write about the different types of drugs here. Uh, Herainum. Morphine, uh, then uh, in the opiates we are getting about the iron and morphine, and then in the cannabinoids we are getting about the uh, cannabinoids that is the ganja we are saying, and cocaine we are right about the erythrocytum, coca, and all these things here. And then uh, drugs we had, then uh, bacterial diseases we are right about the streptococcus pneumonia, then typhoid, then uh, viral diseases we are right about the common cold, 
and then the rhinovirus, the common cold we can write and about the rhinovirus, all the, uh, two things we have to explain here. And the fungal diseases we have to write about the particular microsporium, epidermophytum and then trichophytum, about the roundworm disease we have to explain the fungal disorders and very very important in the TDR views particularly. From the TDR views compulsory we will get uh, one four marks answer here, remember the point here and we have to explain very very important addiction dependence, how the, how the, how the person is addicting, how the person is depending and uh, why the adolescence phase that means 12 to 18 age is the vulnerable phase what happens in that age how the students particularly how the teenagers particularly they are they are going excitement they are undergoing the excitement they are undergoing anxiety for the habituation of the tobacco drug alcohol abuse all these things we have to see and the prevention is better than cure as per the tda that means uh, avoidance of the parental pressure then uh, always observation by the teachers and the teachers counseling and then uh, the peer counseling and then about the help of the psychiatrist, all these points we have to cover in the prevention is better than cure particularly. Uh, very very important uh, uh, unit, uh, 6 units from this thing, we will we'll get the 4 marks answer compulsory and from the TD abuse compulsory we will get one, mark, 1 answer compulsory. And uh, next, we'll go, the next we are going for the 7th, uh, that means 7th uh, unit is not there, ecology. In the ecology also they will cover the same thing about the summer stratification, winter stratification as we, are, as we discussed in the particular day, 8 marks answer. Uh, we have to, in the summer stratification, same diagram of the lake ecosystem we have to draw and then epilimnion, thermocline, hypolimnion 3 and what temperatures we have to write, uh, we have to write and winter stratification also same thing. Uh, what temperature in the upper layer we have, what temperature in the downer layer we had, all these things we have to write. Then what of food, particularly for the 4 marks answer, for every 10 degrees Celsius increase the temperature, temperature what will happen here. Uh, particularly, metabolic activity is doubling, for every 10 degrees centigrade decrease in temperature, metabolic activity will be half. And then equation we have to give particularly x, x minus 10 degrees actually that equation we have to give. Then, uh, then after that thing what is happening? Food chains also. Sometimes they will ask for the four marks. It means raising food chains separately they will ask. Detritus food chains separately they will ask. And then about the urihaline and stenohaline uh, animals particularly. Urihaline which can tolerate the wide range of temperature. Stenohaline which they are not tolerating. And what are the adaptations which are, which are followed by the marine animals particularly to live in the sea water. What about the kidneys, how, are, how they are modified what are the glomerulus, all these things to avoid the loss of water, what they are doing that we have to explain that thing. This is, these are regarding the four marks answer particularly in the zoology and remember the point here as choices are more, out of the choices we have to write six. That means out of 14 we have to write six, six here. Very choices are there, compulsory expected questions only they will come in the examination compulsory if you are covering the points and covering the particular points we can get the marks easily. Very very easy paper it is actually as choices are more. Compulsory cover all the points, see chapter wise which are important and see the points particularly and this quick revision points may be helpful for you to revise again in a short time.